Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in for some coverage of the 14th annual Fairhope Jubilee. It was filmed back on January the 7th of this year. I was actually the tournament director of the event. We have a little cannon shooting off here for the first hole. Kind of let everybody know to start. We got some good local and out of town names here on this card. Todd Bagwell, we actually missed his uh, drive. Second here, Will Schustrick. Looks like he's throwing a X1 on the sidearm. Getting a little skip right behind the basket. A little kind of dancing around a little bit. Uh, everybody knows Cam Coldglazer, WAP64 sponsored. A little sidearm as well. I would assume something, maybe an enforcer or stiletto, something pretty overstable. Cody Faircloth, he's from over here in Mobile, Alabama. Just got picked up by MVP Disc. Seems to really be liking the plastic, getting used to it. Put that right there, about 20, 25 feet. And last up is Trey Des Neuer out of the Memphis area. Looks like he threw an M4. Might have came up a little short there, though. Probably circle's edge. Looks like Todd's first to go. But Trey, yeah, it looks like he's about right at 35 feet. Just right side. Cody there tapping in his birdie. Will with the bird. Trey with a little 12 foot comebacker. He gets it in there. Cam had the drop-in deuce. Well, two's 296. Uh, a lot of people take this turnover route on the left side or a sidearm where there's a little hyzer on the right as well. But Todd threw a pretty good shot. M4 turnover. Looks like Will's got the same disc in his hand. Uh, maybe 15, 20 feet. It's a good shot. Looks like Cam has the same exact disc as well. I'm just throwing it a little harder. It's about 40 feet farther. Mm, let's see if finish right there. Cody takes the hyzer out. Kind of steps in front of the camera, but you see the disc skipping in right there. It's actually really cold this day. Uh, in the 30s. January for down in Alabama. That's pretty cold. Good turnover from Trey with his M4. Looks like it slid right underneath in it. Todd's first up to putt. A little low. Will, wow. A 15 footer there, he missed it. Looked like might have been a little farther, but cam into the front cage as well. It looked like about 20 feet. Really think this cold got to him there. Oh wow, Cody, yeah, it had to be the cold getting to him. Second hole, you know, sat, sat around for lunch and maybe got some cold fingers and just couldn't couldn't quite get him in there. Trey put it in. Everybody else is tapping out on their threes. Looks like Trey will take the lone birdie there. That'll put Todd at neg 11, Will, Cam, and Cody at 8, and Trey at neg 7. Going here into the third hole, 311 feet, probably a little bit of left to right wind. Looks like Trey's going with something pretty stable, maybe a fairway or H series. Come up a little short. Todd has an A3 in his hand. That's kind of the route I like to take, but I like to go just inside of that tree that he just actually got. Got a F3 in his hand. Looks to be 
be pretty good. Let's settle this down just a little bit. Yeah, it should be pretty good. Cam's up to tee next. Cam has played this course in this tournament many times. Looks like he hangs that one out a little wide though. Hopefully it'll get through the backside. Yeah. Be on the backside of the basket for a putt. Here's Cody. Cody is rather quick to throw. He just steps up and does what he knows. Got a tree kick. I'll just probably be tossing that one up for a par. Looks like he was trying to give it a go and just the wind carried it a little left. He should be able to knock that down for a par. You see the water standing there. It rained a couple of days before. Yeah, a little half bit, I guess, from Todd. Yeah, here's Trey. Good putt. It's a good one to get. Cam, a little long. Looks like circle's edge, but got it. It's Cody coming back for his par. Cam and Will and Trey got the two. Everybody else with a three. A little 240 foot turnover. It's a pretty tight gap. Gotta get about 150 and then a little turn on the on the disc. Some people throw a sidearm, but it's like Trey's kicked over left. Kind of hard to see with that tree there, but a lot of putters and mids off the tee on this one normally on the backhand. Absolutely perfect shot from Will. That one should be pretty close. Looks like Cam's got a Lucid Warden, I believe that is, in his hand. That looks pretty good if it gets past all the trees. Looks like it got down there. He should be tapping in. There's Todd with it. Putter turnover a little high, but it looks like it might be filtering through there. Gets a little tight on the right side, but. Looks like he got knocked down, but luckily he's right there in the middle. Should be pretty easy up and down from there. Looks like he tosses the, maybe the same putter right up there. Yeah, Trey got kicked hard to the left. He's probably about 50 feet to the left of the, the fairway. Trying to punch a little flick through there. Mm. Fortunately, it kind of shoved him down into a bad spot. He's probably still got about 50 feet to go to the basket. So he looks like he's on a knee. Probably just going to have a toss underneath. Maybe a little slight run. Oh, right over it. I've been a little closer than I thought. Maybe 45. The guy filming this has, doesn't actually play disc golf. He's just a good film buddy of mine. So he doesn't always line up the person and the basket in the full shot, but since I was running the tournament, I had to get somebody else to film it, and definitely happy with what he did. Trey coming back. Unfortunately, it looks like he missed that one. I think he'll be... Happened in a five there, unfortunately. Here's Cody coming back for his three. There's Cam tapping in from his drive for a two, and Will tapping in his. Looks like Will and Cam with the birdies, Cody and Todd with a par, and fortunately Trey with a five. This one here gets kind of tricky with the wind. If you get a left or right, you can really go down the hill with a sidearm. Looks like will got a D2 in his hand. Puts that on a good bit of hyzer. Doesn't look like Matt was able to follow that one too well, though. And going with a pretty traditional up the middle route, a little turnover putter. He's got that lucid warden in his hand again.
pretty good. Just past the last tree. Yeah, he'll have a putt from there. Maybe uh, 20, 25 feet or so. Todd Bagwell. Got a putter in his hands. A little turnover. Looking fairly good. Looks like it got down there for a putt. Looks like Cody's going the Heiser route. This one isn't seen too often. Oh, looks like he hit a tree, but it did kick into the middle. Could have been worse. Trey going for that putter turnover, but just left it a little left. The upshot is extremely fast downhill. Looks like he went a little past the basket, but should be able to get that one in there. Here's Cody. Right about 80. Whoa, big putt there. That's a big birdie. Do a little instant replay. That has to be at least 80 or 100 feet. A little step jump putt there. Perfect angle, right into the heart of the chains and down. Great putt. Cam, looks like he actually went a little past the basket, a little farther than I would have thought from, uh, from that drive. Oh, just left side. I'm sure he wants that one back. Will, well inside the circle. Converts on the birdie there. Trey coming back for his par putt. Good catch. Looks like it was a little, maybe a little right side. Hole six here it says 391, but it plays a lot farther. This is my home course, and I play this hole a lot. And it uh, it really takes a pump to get it up in there, mainly because the disc has to carry so far left after going around those trees to actually get inside the gap for a putt. Um, I normally throw a pretty overstable driver on the hyzer, just like Todd's doing here, but that really has to get way left. Unfortunately, that's going to leave him with about 50, 60, 65 feet to the basket from there. It's just really hard to get the disc left enough to get in there for a three, uh, excuse me, for a birdie two. It's definitely a hard, hard two, but uh, definitely want to get it as a, as a three. Definitely don't want to take a four on it. Cam steps up, playing a little more overstable disc, but it still looks like it kind of flipped up. Not gonna have a look bit from there, just a pitch under. Looks like Trey's lining up the up the middle shot with a fairway. It's hard to tell. Let's see. Yeah, it's a pretty good shot. If it would have got stable and got a skip, he probably would have been sitting pretty good. But there's Cody pitching up. That's a great up from there. Gosh, he's probably two under from the basket. That was a great little forehand from an A. Like Trey has an A1 in his hand. Didn't get that quite to the right enough to we'll have a putt, but probably wishes he was a little closer. Whoa, Cam giving it a little run there. Todd for two. Well, Annie. Yeah, he's under there for the other three. And Will up last. Yeah, these, these guys wanted to go about 10 foot shorter than where they are and about 30 more feet left, and they would have had a much better look. Kind of hard to get that distance in. Especially after playing a bunch of short holes right before it. Here's Trey putting for his three. Looks like he's got somebody walking there in the neighborhood behind him. Great putt. That's a great save. Here's Cody putting for a three as well. 
Yeah. Oh, wow. About 25 footers straight off the top. Little taps it in. Along the top. Cam, everybody else is kind of cleaning up. Cam with the lone four, everybody else with a three. Nobody's going to be mad at themselves for a three, but the four I'm sure Cam did not want to take. This one here, you get from a longest hole in the course to the Probably one of the more tight technical turnover lines. Will's playing in that M3 turnover, but really got a bad kick there. Odd with what looked like to be a putter turnover, but probably a little short. A little jumper from there. This one here, it's got a low ceiling. It's a, kind of a tight turnover line. You can't fade too far left or too far right, or you're kind of in jail. Uh, for as much as I play this hole, I would say uh, probably the hardest hole that, to me on the course to really just get up there for the two. Probably my most bogeyed right, hole. Right, Trey was looks like time. an M4. Ah. Fairly straight, a little more turn. He probably would have been parked. Not sure what Cam's throwing here. So we've got a good flip, but it got those two guardian trees right before. Will still got a good little bit to the basket. It's a pretty good shot. Should put him up there for a putt. Cody with that watermelon MVP disc. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I think they call it a watermelon. Todd with a little jumper. Not quite. A little high and left. And got up there. He hit those trees right in front of him. Must have bounced back a little bit. He's sitting about 55 feet. Oh, oh, right off the front page. Putting hadn't really clicked in for everybody. It doesn't seem like, like I said, with it being as cold as it was, I'm sure that's kind of having a little bit of an effect. Trey just tossing under there for the easy three. Everybody just tapping out there. I haven't seen Will after his up shot. I think he might have went a little past. Yeah. Wow. Well, I think he actually did have a pretty big comebacker. It's uphill. Not the easiest putt. I'm sure he wasn't hoping for the bogey on that one. Everybody with threes and will of four. 315 downhill. We moved this pin uh, and two others to a longer position during the second round. This was about 280 in the short, but to the long pin, it's about 315. You go kind of want to throw a flex down there. Looks like a mid range, and that is absolutely okay. perfect. Needs to stable up just a little more than that to be parked, but that's down there for a putt. Looks like a stable putter. Oh, I got a kick out. If that would have got through, it would have been a stable one out at the right spot to get the early gap. So that would to be a 200 PA3. So I think, down there. I think he kind of knows he got away with one there. Mm. Cody, he's played this hole before. He knows this to pitch it up under there and get out of there with his three, and he'll be happy. Got a little bit of roll, but now Cam, you see right in front of Cam, that's where the short short pin position was. He would have been parked on it. Like about a 50 footer. Oh, good run. Slightly downhill there, just carried it a little over. Looks like this will be Todd's third shot here. Probably just trying to pitch under and take his bogey four and get on. Birdie's coming up here. 
that's where Trey ended up. And just had to really pitch out. Kind of had too much of an any angle to be able to really get a good putt on it. A little just barely missing there. There's Cam. He's really in the bushes there. Good putt, though. Cody coming back for his three, and everybody else will be tapping in. Oh. Drop Todd's lead down to only one over Will. 224. This one is just kind of a little hysery. It's like. Cody went with a little inside gap. Trey with a A2 in his hand. Looks like he caught the early tree as well. There's one tree you just kind of have to get right to the left or right of. Looks like they keep hitting them. Yeah, it's one of the easier holes on the course. You just have to get it kind of flattened down and let it just take a skip with something over stable. And they are all hitting that same tree. Disappointed not to be at least having a birdie putt on this one. This one is one of the more open gaps. It's got about a 15 foot gap just to hit, and then it's a, oh, just a little putt from there. All pretty much be pitching up. Trey kind of went suicide dive there. Cody with a good run. Wow. Cody trying to put another one on there. Another long putt. <laughs> Roll with a jumper, oh, right off the top. Uh, <laughs> and another one right off that number plate. There we go. Clean up there. Clean up and just getting out of there. Will with a one bogey, everybody else at the par. 277. There we go. This one does a long pin as well. We played the short the first. It's probably about 240 in the short. 277 in the long. That looks good if Trey will move so we could see it. I think he had a putt as long as he stood there because it looked like it kind of was fighting through. Cam back to the Lucid Warden. Kind of turned it a little bit. Well, they've all hit the main gap. At least aren't sitting way back there. Oh, I kind of kicked off a little bit. And we'll kick right over there where Todd is. I would assume they're probably pretty close to each other. Like I said, we had three holes that we moved from a short to a long one. This was the second one, and they both kind of have. In my opinion, little finicky gaps to get through right there about where Cam landed. Ah, right off the top again. Cam just doesn't seem like he's got his putting stroke together today. Taps that little 15 putter in. There's Trey tapping his in. Is that for Trey's two? I think that might have been a birdie two for Trey. It's a good one to pick up if so. All right, that's all we got for part one. Make sure you go down to the comment section. Let me know how you like this one. one of my first time doing commentary on a full round like this by myself. And that'll finish up that part there. So Todd sitting neg 11. You got Cody two back of that at neg 9. Cam at neg 8. And Will and Trey both at neg 7. Uh, make sure to go down there, hit that like button, and subscribe. I'll have the next one coming out just in a couple days. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for tuning in.